Next, we've got a really great speaker. I hope you're all excited for him. Really needs no introduction, but I'll introduce him anyway. The former presidential candidate uh, in 2020, Brock Pierce is here to talk about Puerto Rico. Brock, take it away. Good morning, Miami. Wow. It is so nice to be back in the circuit or circus again. As social creatures, we need like these opportunities to get together. So many new faces along with those that are familiar. Wow, what an exciting time. I estimate that something like 30 million Americans have Bitcoin, probably 300 million people internationally. Like this is going mainstream. We're watching even the biggest financial institutions like JP Morgan, reluctantly, but finally, saying, oh wait, something is happening here. That was a tough pill to swallow. Morgan Stanley, Visa, MasterCard, PayPal, Square. These major institutions do not attach their reputations or brands to a movement like this lightly. Like, this is a major event. And look at what's happening here in Miami. Thank you, Mayor Suarez, for basically saying, I embrace innovation. You know, I want Miami to be the capital of capital. We want innovation here because the future belongs to the bold. You know, the future is going to happen to us or with us. So let's get involved. Thank you, every single one of you, for being here, for being part of this movement. Because we have the ability to change the world. We're doing it right now. I just uh, came from Dubai as well. Amazing to see another place that is adopting and saying yes to innovation. You know, they don't have oil money. They're one of the seven emirates, but that entire place has been built through outside investment, economic development. And right now we're watching the cities of the future emerge. And it's hard to be bold, to be a contrarian, when everybody's going this way to say, no, I'm gonna go that way to see something different. And that's what we're seeing from places like this. So grateful for it. For those that don't know me, I live in Puerto Rico. I've been down there for about three and a half years. And so for me, you know, I'm not in pursuit of money anymore. It's like, how do I make an impact in the world? As I look around and I question kind of the status of things. That's why I ran for president of the United States because I see something wrong. And I see a lot of people that don't know what's going on. And it's like, I'm willing and able, and so I have a moral obligation to step up and do something. And so Puerto Rico, like Miami, offers an incredible quality of life, combined with tremendous opportunity, but what drives me is impact. You know, it's an, an opportunity to positively impact the lives of others. About $2 trillion dollars and it was three, but about $2 trillion of wealth has been created over the last, call it five years. This is the fastest creation of wealth in a short period of time that the world has ever seen. We're not far away from a majority of the world's billionaires having made their money from Bitcoin. Like, that wealth being distributed all over the world because it's the democratization of opportunity. This is something that has been available not to the select few, but open to everyone in the world at a time where we need wealth in the hands of new people. This is the greatest wealth transfer in the history of the world. And for people that made their wealth over generations or decades, there's a sense of entitlement of, oh, this is mine. But when it's come faster and easier, we're willing to invest in things that we think the world needs right now to facilitate positive change. And that's, again, why I'm in Puerto Rico. It's something that is just incredibly rich in its history. If we go back in time a bit, you have to remember where all of this came from, North and South and Central America. Obviously, it was here prior to Christopher Columbus and the conquistadors. But in 1492, when he sailed across the Atlantic Blue, he first stopped in the Dominican Republic, but then in Puerto Rico in 1493. And all of that development of what we called the New World, which wasn't new, but new to them, you know, started there. And it was Ponce de Leon, who then in search of the Fountain of Youth discovered Florida, the place where we are now. So rich in history, old San Juan 
has literally the first formal road ever built in all of the Americas, right there in the center of town. Incredibly rich with history, something I strongly encourage those of you to come down, check it out, see what's happening. Incredible movement. I moved there right after Hurricane Maria, during the longest blackout in American history, to go to the part of the United States that historically had suffered the longest and the most to see what I could do to make a positive impact. Supported about 200 different charities on the island. Economic development from innovation, energy, food security. Impact in every way I possibly can. And right now, because of COVID, it's, it's really facilitated this virtualization or decentralization of the workforce that you can work from anywhere. And now that we can do that, you know, where will you go? Obviously, Florida and Texas have benefited greatly from it because, again, we want quality of life. But we also, we want to keep some of what we've made. We want good tax structures. Obviously, Florida not having a state tax. Puerto Rico, very interestingly, because governments only have a couple of levers. But one of those are incentives. You know, what do you incentivize? You know, back to how Dubai was created. Georgia, for example, has been bringing a lot of the film industry there through their economic incentives. How do they subsidize and do things? Puerto Rico's got a very interesting incentive, certainly for those of us in this space that have the freedom to work from anywhere. They offer the Act 60 decree, which provides 0% short-term and long-term capital gains, and it's exempt from the IRS. Remember, the United States of America taxes us on our worldwide income. So when you leave the United States, you still pay U.S. tax. But because Puerto Rico is a U.S. territory, you can't have taxation without representation. There's some really interesting economic incentives there, which also exist for the locals. If you set up a business there and your businesses are exporting services, your intellectual property is there, you're taxed at a 4% income rate. And then there's all sorts of stuff from, you know, uh, from a, there's, there's economic incentives on top of incentives on top of incentives because the place is in need of a lot of economic development. It needs to bring in a lot of foreign or outside investment. And we're seeing it, um, you know, this is certainly, you know, Miami, I believe, is the, this is the most popular place right now in the country. And I don't think this is just going to be a temporary thing. I think this is going to have a long, long-lasting impact. Miami is carving out its place in the world as a city of the future. You know, we're watching these new capitals emerge. You know, Singapore, obviously, over in Asia. Um, you know, Berlin's got quite a community if you haven't checked these places out. But how governments han handled COVID and the lockdowns, I mean, you can't lock us up in cages, you know, for a year and expect us to be content. You know, clearly all of us here, uh, it, we're ready to get back to living our lives and we want to get out there. And, uh, you know, the places that open up and say, we're going to let you live are going to be the biggest beneficiaries of this. Miami certainly being one of them. You know, I want to encourage everybody, you know, to, to figure out what it is that you can do. You know, what is your, you know, why are you here? You know, why are you here? And I don't mean why at this conference. Why are you here on earth right now? You know, what is your purpose? You know, asking yourself, what are my gifts? What are my skills? What are the skills that I've developed and honed over the course of my life? And how can I utilize these gifts to make the world a better place? Living for something more than me. You know, we, because we're ultimately in this together. We've got one planet we all share. And this place, this world is clearly in trouble. It doesn't take me to tell you, you can feel it. And we have the ability to make a difference. Each and every one of us has an important role to play in the change in the world. Teamwork makes this collective dream work. And I am so, so glad to be able to play this game with each and every one of you. Keep up the good work. Enjoy your time here in Miami. Connect with everyone. Find out what they're doing and see what you can do to help them. Thank you, David Bailey. 
uh, and BTC Media for bringing us back together again, having the courage to throw this type of event. You know, as everybody else is afraid of, of gathering, it takes courage again. The future belongs to the bold. And so thank you all for showing up. Enjoy Miami, everyone.